what's going on people welcome back to the channel it's your boy rocky Marden, and i'm back with another excited music video tips and information or music and tips and tricks or whatever you want to call it but basically it's a it's a video about a um, simple learning process of how to never go wrong in studio one again right um i've known this for quite some time fl studio can do it uh, pro tools can do it um, i'm not sure about logic because uh, my windows computer i use right um kiyakua can do it um well it kind of complicated in a, in a pre in a kiyakua but in a studio one it's very very easy and studio one is not like fl studio where as um you can like lay down the the thing and you still go wrong in a studio one you can't go wrong once you see the ideas it just not give you the option if you go wrong so once you're playing on one key like c major I just see major alone you can't play it. you can't play in any other card you now go highlight so let me break it down more details for you all right so um we have um the real star guitar here and me just go show you how it's done so um you can see real guitar so um now fake it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go edit after you put on the, the instrument you just click on edit and it's gonna bring bring up this panel so let me just build up this panel right right up to the screen so we have it to him so as you can see over here to my left hand side of um um studio one you have like the options so if we turn off this you can see everything get white and normal so um therefore it, in order for this to work you have to select the skill so if you want like a C major or C minor scale, just come a scale and you select this, the, the, the card or the, the, the thing where you want to play now. So um, if you make this easy, we are going to use G major or um, C, A minor, two easiest card them, right? That easiest scale there is. So if we click uh, on G major, right? You can either select if you want to go minor or chromatic or uh, melodic minor, harmonic, natural minor, right? and so forth right um in this case we do, may I go use major then we can switch to the minor all right so after that all right i'm just highlight major and then right here at this little piano you want you want to stick it now you can see all of the card in or in a g major right so in a, the scale of g major only have one black note and for my guess that would be like um d that is d so that is D major. That's in the that's the only black note, right? You have in um so alright. When we say the only black note, we mean say I only black note highlighted because you know the you know the key of the scale of G major. I think you have um you have B, you have B, and you know say B you have you still have F F the F sharp, right? So are the only um black card highlighted. So as you can see, right? Say, say me I go play. Let me go up somewhere. More C four. So me I go up somewhere. So me you know, just scroll on somewhere. So transpose that. All right. So me I go try play one card. One in a the in a the in a the scale. So me I go play. Um, I'm gonna play G sharp. So as you can see, only one card highlight and the C. What in a G sharp? None else not highlight. So look again. This is actually a um a G sharp, right? And the only card that that you see highlighted is the C. Is the C note, and that's it. So it kind of help you in in a in a way. So you can't go wrong. So um, as we say in a FL Studio, you have the option where you can. Like click major, like for example, you click C major and then it give you all of the, the cards them go across the board. Right? In a studio one, um something similar, but you know give the cards them go across the board. What it does, it does highlight the, the, the cards and the piano, right? For show you what you can play and what you can't play. So if me hit a wrong note upon this, right, it now go register because that's not in the scale. Right? So so um let me just show you something real quick right here. Uh hold on. Um, that yeah, that one. Right, so as we say, it just now register none at all. 
And that's a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. No register, none at all. Alright, so let me show you why I'm saying no register. Watch this. You can see everything get blue. That means say eh, the card in, in the scale of G. Alright, you see that? That wrong, you know. Card is supposed to be a D major and this is a D minor. So there is no D minor in the, 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 the in the in this um in this in the scale of G. Right? So they have a D major. Right? And you have a C major, you have a E minor, you have a F, right? No, you know, an F, you have a. So you know, have no F, but you have a F minor, F sharp minor, right? And this will help you actually know cards as well, because trust me, um, me, me learned cards long time ago, but. When me I use Studio One all the time, I you know, like um put up no chart or no or go up on the internet if you find nothing. All me need to do, I just come on this and refresh my memory because by this now, me always feel say or before this, before me do the tutorial, me never did a look into the F sharp. Say it is not an F minor, but it's a F sharp minor, and that's a card. That's a one of the card in G major, a F sharp minor, and. I wasn't praying that. I was praying an F minor instead of an F sharp. So, but remember, you know, before I tell you that F sharp is the only black key highlighted. And you, ha you only have two cards that are in it, which is the, the D major and the B minor. But me never did that thing about the F sharp minor. So, you see, it actually teach me something just now or refresh my brain of something which probably me did last. So, still the one, it have it ways. It have it ways. All you need to do is just get Studio One. You have a free version. You can get the demo, right? And if it lasts 30 days, if you don't have no money, you can um, get the demo. I can try it out and see. But Studio One, really, really, these guys, they are doing a very good job over there by Studio One. Right? So many features in Studio One, which part me not really explore it. I've got this software a long time now, right? I'm still not explore it a lot. However, what I'm going to do still, me I go, um do more of this video often like tips and tricks video so you guys can learn a little tips there and here and then so you can put it in your, your your daily music and you know help you know it can be pleasing isn't me so just go and um, play a small little portion of card as well and then that's it but in this case i'm going to actually change i'm going to use like a minor um so i go natural minor right and may I go A minor. So this easier C me. So as you can see, all I white keys them highlight. Well accurate. So we can fool around with this. So <laughs> go a little deeper. So um as we say it's very 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 unique and it's a very very good thing to have. So All right, so let me actually do a little thing right now. Show sure no. Do something. All right, so watch this. So we can just make a fast loop right there. So put this on the piano roll. Edit. I ranked in club still. Last the pattern mode. Right. So on, if you want to know if you do this, all after that is press Alt in the slot and you get this. Oh, me I do a wrong thing. So you can record this. Um, so. Alright, let me just do that 
Just do that thing. Um, and I really nothing for you to worry about. So, just you want to show me something. So, I'm going to just highlight that. Then I'll delete that. So, this a video now going to be too long. So, um, same card. Alright, so, let me try again. Alright, so, enable. Okay, yeah, so it's all right now. So, um, recording can be very easy in, in um, Studio One as well. So, we can actually get a timing, for example, we can set this for record by itself. So, every all this time you play, we can get it for record. So, then, right, and you just actually play when we just write it. So let me go back right now. We have it exactly what we just play. But you have to go place them in order. <laughs> but anyway, that was it guys. Simple tricks, simple hints. So um you can use this feature, play around with it and get to know your thing quite well. You have um the the, 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 the note length and you have the um the one sixteen or the triple or the thirty-two. You can play around with it. You have the straight. You have um, triplets, you have um, quantized, you have dotted. As we say, play around with it and get familiar with it, right? So, that, that was all. So, one more if you don't know, I go forth and just start some beats and just send them across the year, isn't it? So you don't know anything though. Rocky Martin representing for um, everybody. Studio and I'm out. Same thing, same speed. Yeah. Don't know.